Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. So we just got ourselves a new class, which I'll show you guys super quick. I'm not going to be using it. Yes, yeah, so we just got like, it's technically like a Baker class. Critical all hitter. That's a terrible final effect. Items for all. Yeah, um, wow. None of this is actually very good. Remove ghost status. Well, well actually, we're going to want to use ghost status later as a broken team comp. But anyway. Um, let's go ahead and give it a quick save a here. Let's go back in here. That's where it's telling us to go. So let's see what they want from us. Oh, we're just going to the bath. Okay, fair enough. And we should be able to go in. Oop, let me get that out of the way. Ooh, ah, that's the ticket. Ah, tell me about it. Take a look at this, sir. I've been working out. 20 push-ups and 20 sit-ups every night. What do you think? Am I looking more manly? <laughs> you sure are. My routine is 50 each, morning and night, you know. <gasps> wow, sir. Excuse me, gentlemen. I heard all about your bravery from Lord Arima's valet. He tells me you saved our town. Oh, no. We just did what we had to do. That's not what I heard. I think you're being far too modest. <laughs> well, it was a tough fight. Can you just give me a bow? In any case, your dinner is ready. Please, enjoy it while it's still hot. Oh, thank you. We'll just dry off and be... Coming! <gasps> Idia! Idia, you're close! Nice. Ooh, now that was delicious. No kidding. What a feast. Mm, I'm completely stuffed. I'm so glad you liked it. It's always nice for a cook to know her efforts weren't in vain. Wait, you made all this? Oh, yes. As the sole employee of this bathhouse, I'm responsible for everything. Cleaning the baths, managing the front desk, preparing the meals, whatever needs to be done. Get. Out. That's amazing! You're like the Omega Weapon of Innkeepers! Why, thank you. I think. It's nothing, really. Will you be retiring for the night soon? Yeah, I'm pretty sleepy. Lord Arima sent over a tremendous amount of yuzu, so I prepared yuzu baths for this evening. Perhaps you'd like to enter once more before turning in. Yuzu baths? What's that? Yuzu. It's a citrus fruit. You bathe with whole fruits floating in the water. It will warm you to the bones, and it's wonderful for your skin. That sounds lovely. Well, I'd hate to miss the chance, so I think I'll try it out. I would too, but I'm really beat. I think I'll... Uh, 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 hit the hay. Me too. Oh, I might have overdone it. I gotta lie down and digest. All right, see you later then. Ha! Ah. Whew, this is the life. <sighs> The scent of Yuzu is so refreshing. I could do this every night. Hmm. Hey, Magnolia? Are you there? Yes? What is it? I just wanted to say... I'm sorry. You know, about the flower? The moon? It's customs. I really had no idea. Don't worry about it. It was my fault for leaping to conclusions. I mean, of course you wouldn't propose to me on our very first meeting. Although, I really was happy. I even considered saying yes, right then and there. W really But why? <laughs> it's a secret. But it wasn't quite love at first sight, if that's what you're thinking. A secret? But you'll tell me someday, right? <laughs> Peut-être. I'll think about it. Mm. Chill out, bruh. 
Too bad we can't stay like this. Yeah. The Skyhold is still out there. That's our main worry. And we still need to find an ocean-worthy ship. I wish we could do something for the people of Heartschild, too. We could bring the spring water to them, but it seems it's not as effective once it cools off. And as long as they're in that gone to heaven ghost state, they are coming here. We can't take the hot springs to them, and we can't bring them to the hot springs. Hmm. There must be a way. You seem troubled, my young friends. I know that voice! You're the man with the purple pen! <laughs> That's a curious name you've given me. Oh, it's the guy who talks. Though I suppose it's better than Stalker or Ghost. I've got another name for you if you want. Peeping Tom. Uh, I, I assure you, I'd never dream of doing such a thing. My intentions are nothing if not noble. My only desire is to help Opportunities are like bean sprouts. Use them while you can, or they'll be spoiled before you know it. Well, that sounds great, but what are you talking about? <laughs> your ship is right before your eyes. Now you need only use it. What? I don't see any ship. Lord Arima's intractable clog. I've taken the liberty of tracting it. Anchors away. Whoa! What the? What? Oh, this whole place is a ship. Magnolia, what the heck's going on? Wasn't us. Honest. What's with all the racket? I was having such a good sleep. We were in the bath when the man with the purple pen showed up. The man with the purple pen? Yes, I heard him too. You mean he's here? In the bathhouse? His voice was coming from upstairs. Let's check it out. What's oh, the... The wheel. Wheel doing here? Don't tell me. This whole thing is a ship. This is where it sounded like the man with the purple pen was. Well, he's not here now. Where's he always off to so suddenly? Her bathing! She moves! Oh, how many years it has been! Why, look at this room! I thought it was only for storing the linens. Uh, your Lordship, Sakura. To think there was a soul who could write her plumbing. Truly, my tub runneth over. Your Lordship, I beg of you, please lend us this vessel. We want to take its healing waters to Heart's Child. If the water's still hot, we'll be able to cure the townspeople. Not content to save our nation alone, you intend to scrub Heart's Child free of its troubles as well? It would ill behoove me to throw a wet towel on your ambition. This vessel was the very rubber duck of you, Nohana. But from this day forth, she belongs to you. After you have saved Heart's Child, journey with her wherever you need to pull the plug on the Kaiser. Thank you very bad. We shall not let you down. Indeed. All right, time to bring the hot springs to hearts. This is it. Okay, let's just do it. Does anyone know how to pilot it? Where's ring a bell when you need him? Mm, more or less. Oh, someone's been studying. <laughs> huh? Really? Oh well. Figure it out. <laughs> All right, I can do this. Way to go, Idia. Helm, set a course for Hearts Child. Aye, Captain. Bringing her about full steam ahead. So should be wind powered. Finally, you can navigate the open seas. Press the A button at ports or beaches to set sail. Um, enter the bathhouse anytime. You can switch to the rowboat as well. 
cool. You love to see us. So, we need to take this to Heart's Child to help the people. But apparently this game doesn't think so, so that's alright. Let's go to Hearth Child first. My! So this is the coast of Hearth's Child. That's right. Hey, wait a minute. You're still on board. Of course. Why wouldn't I be? It's just that, uh, we kind of get into a lot of dangerous situations. Then all the more reason. I'll stay right here. On a perilous journey such as yours, you're bound to have aches and pains from time to time. When that happens, I'll be here to see you're as comfortable as possible. <gasps> Does that mean you'll be cooking for us too? But of course, hot meals thrice daily. Now that's what I'm talking about! Cool. Personal cook. Absolutely love to see it. Okay, so now, we, do we just go to Hearth Child and be like, Yo, guys, we got a boat. Pull up. Okay, we got, of course, we got a fight right before, though. Alright, just please kill these guys. Thank you. And don't make me fight some other ones. Let's oh, get lit at night, boys. Alright, Hearth Child. Get to the boat, you weirdos. Nope, there's no one inside either. Everybody went to heaven. Huh? What's that sound? It's coming from outside the city, and it's getting closer. Sergeant Sapp, sir! We're almost at Hearts Child, sir! No thanks to this rats and fracking machine! We should have been here days ago! Don't be too hard on him, Sergeant Sapp, sir. He did his best to only overheat at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, sir. We could have been the ones to take the city, too. Oh, well, might as well mop up, tear down the walls and level the place, and get a move on, or His Majesty will leave us behind. Huh? Uh, Sergeant Sapp, sir, I think someone's coming this way, sir. No matter. If they get in the way, just, uh, level them, too. What? That's the Imperial insignia on it. What clunky... Primitive technology. It's so cool. I know, right? It's so rustic and rugged looking. You two, quit gawking and get ready to fight. It's coming for us. Okay, I didn't expect a fight now, but I'll take it. But I was definitely not expecting a fight. I'm not even full MP here. Okay, I need to buy more ethers, and I know what to do this time. All right, let's go ahead and try this fight again. I think I just died the first time because I was prioritizing the wrong places. So let's just go ahead and go directly for what we need this time. I'm not gonna fight the big. I'm not gonna fight the private and the sergeant because they just come back anyway, and it's not really not that big of a deal. So I'm just gonna fight the actual um, thingy itself. Okay, let's go ahead and just start using, um, yeah, probably just a cure out already. Tiz is a bunch of MP, so it's really not that big of an issue. And I need Magnolia to be up, so, okay. Here's now where we can start playing a little bit. So let's go ahead and grab the Blizzara. Let's attack the actual bale itself. I don't want to attack everyone because I have no need to damage the other two. I just need to attack the middle. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I guess we can do trample, but maybe, man, I'm not full HP. You know what, this is going to be a little bit stupid, but I'm just going to go ahead and use that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the tramples here. And then I'm going to want to attack this. The Dio, which is our knight, we're going to go ahead and stomp. Oh, actually, I can, oh, no, actually, let's just do stomps here. Make sure to do it on the robot itself. And with Tiz, we can do a Kirata here. Yeah, I want our tramples to be effective. Even though this thing has five high physical, so I guess that like wouldn't even matter, right? I guess. But Blizz definitely waters its weak point, so we can hit it with as much water damage as we can. 
Reckless Cannon. Just hit it with as many stomps as we can, too. I saw gear. Perforator. Okay, let's go ahead and default again. Default again. And then we can just pull out some normal cures right now. Let's cannon. Yeah, all this stuff doesn't do a lot of damage. That's why, like, it doesn't even worry me that much. Okay, we're gonna keep throwing Blizzaras just at the robot itself. Default, default. And just another small cure here. Yeah, I don't care about the two inside. Okay. Let's go ahead and default, default, default. Let's do a big curata here. Let's cannon. Okay. Let's just do one Blizzara there. Trample. Yep, some more tramples. And then some more stomps. Same thing I just on the robot here. And let's do just a Cura here. Yeah, this isn't doing a lot of damage, but hey, a thousand. You know, you was doing just a thousand with one hit, basically. Climb Mount Fragmentum. Zero, 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 two. Sir, yes, sir. Increasing boiler temperature. Don't lower. Okay. Let's go ahead and just throw in some Blizzaras in there. And we're going to need some MP soon, but I went and bought some Ethers for this fight. So I think we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and default, default. And bring another Cura up in here. Okay, bring some more Blizzaras. It seems like magic is doing a lot right now. There we go. Go ahead and default, default. Get a little bit more healing going. Boiler temperature at 50%, sir! Get another little top off heal. Ooh, I don't have any more. Okay, well, this is the time where we use... Where is you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Turbo Ether. Bang. Default, default. And let's go ahead and do another minor heal here. Ah, we don't have enough power, sir! All hands, brace for impact! Wait, I'm not the... Ooh, this is gonna suck a little bit. Ooh, oh, he just paralyzed everyone. Okay, you love to see it. Well, then, we're gonna go ahead and make use of that. We're just gonna go ahead and, uh... Keep throwing blizzards over there. We're also going to be doing some attacking, and hopefully, I don't think its physical is lowered if it's paralyzed, but that would be nice if it was. Either way, we're going all out on this turn, so either way. Let's do a little Kira going. Yeah, so it looks like its physical isn't really lowered because it's paralyzed, but hey, it gives us a little opening to do a couple of moves here, so I'm not mad about it. How many is it gonna take to kill this thing, man? Like, for real, for real. This thing is... Um, okay, let's do nothing ventured. Nothing ventured, and this is the default here. See, if we needed to do that other attack for us to actually hit it. I needed to do the... Yeah, no, the other one, the other one. Yes, this one. Bang. Um... If we could pull out two blizzes. Let's just, I don't know. I guess we'll have to use another... Have to use another ether on you. He just, he uses so much MP, it's crazy. I can't hold him together, sir! Oh, jeez! Glory to the Empire! Did it. Let's go. Didn't even have to use that second turbo ether. Normalizer. We'll have to see what that does. Preposterous! The pride of our army! Our next generation super weapon! Humbled by four mere gutter snipes! Sergeant Sab, sir! A message for HQ! It went. Don't worry, I decoded it. Sky Fold, Diam, and T Sales, Fro Next Ob, Jet Ive, at Dawn. Or something like that, sir. 
Rent, earn, post, faced, or be ab and dunned. Well, I don't want to be ab or dunned, sir. Furthermore, do not let unit fall to any my f ands. The end. Ands what? Talk about a cliffhanger, sir. Oh, wait, there's also something about a coward meridial and a firing squid. Ooh, then we got no choice. Pull the self-destruct lever! But, sir! Just do it! We can't let the weapon fall into enemy hands! I... I can't do it, sir. The lever's broke clean off, sir. Why, I'll break your... Mm, fine, fine. We'll drive the blasted thing back. About face! Wouldn't it be faster if we walked? And what about my face, sir? Just... Shut up! Man, no respect. Look at that thing clanking and clunking away. What a rust bucket. It's so cool! I wish I had one. Anyway, now that that's over, what do we do about Heart's Child? We'll need to douse every inch of the city, but how can we do that without the water getting cold? I know! We could spray the whole town at once with a great big shower! Yeah, good idea. Let's do that. Idiot, you get the giant shower and we'll wait here. Murder. Why, you little... No, it, it is a good idea. There's a fountain in the middle of town. If we just connect that to the bathhouse... Nice thinking, thinking, sir. Sir? Big brain. Ah, don't jinx me. Uh, anyway, the pipe leading to the fountain should be right over there. Great. Let's get to work. Oh, yeah. Right over there, man. You know, just big fountain. Okay, that's connected to the it. ocean. All right, open the valve and start pumping. Oh, it hurts, bro. For real, for real. I've been sitting down too long. Is it raining? But it's so warm. I can see everyone. And look, I can move again. It worked! The townspeople are back to normal! We brought the heart back to Heart's Child! Good job, everyone! I'm in your debt again. Thanks to you, I'm feeling as good as ever. Wraps We're happy it up. to see you back on your feet, sir. But now, he must return to the battlefield. Of course, I'm grateful that he's well again. It's just... A part of me can't help feeling sad as well. I'm sorry, Eleanor, but I promise I shall return to you unharmed. Oh, my love. Woohoo! Getting awful steamy in here. And I ain't just talking about the hot spring. I've never seen two people who care for each other so deeply. And yet, despite that deep love, their lives force them apart. He must protect the nation, and she must protect their home for when he returns. Their love is suffocated and crushed under the heavy weight of duty. Duty. Such a simple word. Yet it has the power to keep two loving souls apart. In the end, what does such a marriage mean? What is it all for? Wow, uh, what's gotten into Magnolia? She seemed really affected by that conversation with the Goodmans. Maybe being married means even more in the moon than it does down here on Luxendark. Still, I know how she feels. What I wouldn't give to experience true love like the Goodmans someday. Does this mean you're about to launch into a monologue too? Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was kind of funny. All right, but... everyone. Ready to go? Let's do it. To the Temple of Water. Okay. Woo. To the Temple of Water we go. Uh, is there... There's nothing good in here, right? Like, if I go to the magic shop... Yeah, there's nothing in there to buy. Okay. Um, let's do a party chat real quick. We'll save. Sap and Piddler. 
The giant, uh, I know, right? We wish we could have captured it. That steam spewing hunk of junk. I don't understand what anyone could see in that thing. You must be joking, sir. Did you see how big it was and all covered in rickets? Built for battle. It was big, all right. A big pile of smoky, noisy, oily scrap metal. My humble opinion. Bah, where's your sense of fun? You sound like my parents. Why do you have to be such a complete stick in the muds? Gee, dear, I'd, I'd never peg you as a defender of childlike wonder and delight. But how lucky are Sergeant Sap and Private Piddler? They actually get to ride in that thing. But it's weird. A sergeant and a private are pretty low in the ranks. Why would they get a pilot such an advanced weapon? I've got it. Maybe sergeant and private are just call signs. They're actually like the cream of the crop. Wait, so if sergeant Sap is a sap, does that mean Piddler likes to... Anyway, that must be it. I bet Piddler is really the Empire's ace assassin operating incognito. Just think, we might have just scored a victory over a legendary hero. I can see the history books now. After his defeat at the hands of the great heroes, Private Piddler hung up his boots. He renounced the war and went on to found the great Piddle dynasty, a peaceable nation that would prosper for generations to come. Though he reigned as a monarch over his glorious civilization, he remained to the end a man of the people. The one, the only, Private Piddler. I love it. We should write a musical. Okay, that was kind of boring, but let's go ahead and uh, stay at the end real quick. Get that HP rolling. Get the MP rolling, because I ran out of that last fight for sure, for sure. Okay, but I will end the episode right here, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as a channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.